So here's Mama and Ken's completed wet bath. And then we have the floor to ceiling tile. And this is called a floating sink. That's so she can get her wheelchair up under it and brush her teeth. There are no drawers. Uh, if there was a drawer stack, you wouldn't be able to get the wheelchair under there. So these came from Amazon and they roll in and out very easily. Sink area, as you can see. And then the bench here, but I don't use the bench uh, for her to sit on. I use one of the uh, shower chairs, shower bench, and I can either put it here or I can put it here, just whichever she's comfortable with uh, to sit on. And I like to get her close enough to where she can hold on to a grab bar. That makes her feel more steady and it makes me feel more steady for her. Two shower heads, one here and then one here. And I use both of them. Not at the same time, I'll just grab one and use it. Um, Ken had them to put an extra bar here because the shower head was actually too close to the wall here. So he had them to put this extra one here to hold the shower. And then the grab bar here, as well as the toilet, the commode, it is up higher than a normal toilet commode, so she doesn't have as far down to go. And one of the things we forget to do is remove the toilet paper and put it up on the sink here before we get the shower heads going. But I think we're getting pretty good about remembering to move it. So here is the completed wet bath. And it's been complete for quite some time now. It's just, it's been crazy, crazy, crazy busy my way. 2019 has not been an easy year for me. Um, some sad things have taken place, left my heart very broken. However, there has been something amazing to happen. As of last Monday, I believe it was last Monday, I now officially hold my biological father's last name. So, so that's good news and here's a mama's um bedroom she just has the twin bed here that's all she wanted we asked her uh it does have the rails on each side of the bed that will pull up at night once we're getting all tucked in and ready for bed there's one of her lift chairs two in the tv room that used to be my dining room and i'm almost sure i've shared that with you all and then this is the lift chair and she has another lift chair that's um, out in the garage right now we used it when she went uh, for 10 days respite we used that where she was at and then she has her own tv her dresser we have the mirror we just have to get it put up it's an extremely heavy mirror and I found this, I was looking at some books and I ordered some books about dementia and Alzheimer's and they were showing this clock and I'm like, that would be perfect to put in mama's room. I have the whiteboard, we'll be putting that there. I was gonna write the date and the day of the week at the date and the month. And then when I seen this, I was like, that would be perfect. I actually like it myself. Yeah. And she has her own heating and cooling down here in her bedroom, I'll show you the ramp room. And this is what's called her ramp room, that the wheelchair just, um, we can bring the wheelchair in through her own personal door here or in through the garage and just roll her right on up into her room. And we did put a microwave out here and a small fridge. If someone was to come and sit with her for a couple hours, a couple days a week, they can have their own a microwave and fridge there to keep their goodies in if they were sitting down here with her and they we had the floor built up remember how this used to have a step down and my workout equipment was in this was my workout room well they built the entire floor up that is why the ramp because this was the level of the floor there made it easy breezy to get the wheelchair in and out and through here this is her deck there were supposed to be stairs they forgot to put them in and we said just deduct that from our final bill and don't worry and i'm gonna want to it's chilly out here today 
we are gonna have an awning put right here for her. So maybe if I'm outside working in the backyard, I can roll her out here and she'll have the awning to shade her. She knows summers in the south, it's not gonna be like summers up in Michigan. We are sticky, hot, and have a lot of humidity. So that's the tour of Mama's room and her wet bath. And as you can see, you can see, or Mama can see, our bedroom from her bedroom. So that's her view, and then her view is our room. And we do have a door there that we can close if needed for privacy. And Mama's thinking that we are her parents. We're not sure what started that. Now, Sophie wants back in. I shut her out. <laughs> she got spayed, I think. I think she might be now three weeks post-op. And she was able to go to daycare yesterday. But she was supposed to have a light play day. Oh, there's a miscommunication. The young man said, she played hard today. And we're like, Ooh. I decided to keep her home today. Because she'll have to go to daycare tomorrow. Because I've got things I've got to get done. Can you say hi, Dopey? <gasps> Can you say hi, Dopey? Hi, Dopey. <laughs> Hi, Dopey. We'll step outside to close up today's quick video. A lot of updating to do, but I just didn't want to do all that in this video today. I wanted to just do the quick room and full wet bath tour. And you can see the grass is trying to green up. But this is where I'm going to say, until we meet again, you all take good care and bye-bye. Oh.